I'm Mark Ehrman with Bloomberg Technology, and on this week's episode of Power On, I'll be taking a look at Apple reversing changes to the iPhone's web browser and how COVID-19 continues to rock the company. In June, Apple announced big changes to Safari on the iPhone. As the device's built-in web browser, Safari is clearly one of Apple's most important apps. The biggest change? Moving the address bar from the top of the display to the bottom of the screen. The company also unfortunately hid buttons for refreshing web pages as well as sharing them. Overall, it was a clunky and confusing change without a real purpose. An earlier version of Apple may have simply ignored these complaints. After all, this is the same company that waited four years before ditching its failed butterfly keyboards, said the iPhone 4 antenna issue was overblown, ignored criticisms of iOS 7, and praised the MacBook Pro Touch Bar despite little usage from professionals. But this time, the company's actually listening to consumers, and that's a great thing. In the latest version of iOS 15, which is scheduled to be released to consumers around September, Apple has reversed the changes, making the new design simply an option in settings. I've already reverted to that classic look personally. In not so good news, Apple's also continuing its annual tradition of delaying some features. This year's victim is SharePlay, a new mechanism for sharing your screen, listening to music, and watching video with a friend over FaceTime. Also likely to be delayed is universal control. That's a feature for controlling multiple Macs and iPads using one trackpad and keyboard. Another feature likely to be delayed are new mechanisms for managing your data. In other news, COVID-19 continues to impact the company's operations. Apple has delayed its return to office plan for the third time, this time until January 2022. COVID has also led Apple to increase testing of staff to up to three times per week. It's also impacting stores, with Apple needing to close at least one location in the U.S. because over 20 staff members were either exposed to or tested positive for COVID-19. With major plans like an iPhone revamp and a mixed reality headset in the cards for next year, Apple, along with all of us, is planning for a much better 2022. I'm Mark Ehrman. This is Power Up.